Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 16. The grounded conductor brought to service equipment shall be routed with the phase conductors and shall not be smaller than specified in table blank when the service entrance conductors are not larger than 1,100 kc mil copper. And we're given a bunch of uh, numbers for the names of our tables. I'm not going to read them off here. Okay, so it looks to me our best is we're going to be looking for a grounded conductor. So let's uh, look at that in the index. Here we are in the index of our code book, grounded conductor, and it says C conductors grounded or neutral. So again, the grounded conductor is the neutral, and the grounding conductor is your green wire. And these are things you need to know for your test. Now another thing, this kind of drives you nuts when you're taking the test but you can't be frustrated you just gotta get over it so what we need to do next is go to conductors grounded oh and now another thing I want to point out with this when you're looking for your keywords you need it really just takes practice and getting used to the test and this is why you should do as many practice tests and do practice questions and get into the code book and get into the rhythm you're going to get a better feel of it of what keywords that you should choose from your questions I, I tend to say go with your gut instinct that first one because some people with a lot of practice maybe if this was your 200th question you might have gone straight towards conductors grounded well we're going to do that right now here we are in the index and this is the grounded and it's under conductors okay now again your page if you have the whole page open you'll be able to see it now one thing you should look at right here alternating current system okay now it talks about a grounded conductor brought to service equipment with the phase conductors if you got phase conductors you're using alternating current okay now of course you can't have DC service equipment which work for uh, things like street cars and stuff they have power stations and they have equipment with DC power I've worked on some of those okay so alternating current systems this is something that we might be wanting to look in okay uh, let's go down here and see what we can find we're talking about grounding over current protection we're really looking for a size of it and we're saying it can't be smaller than something so this is probably current ratings now you could say okay a separately derived system again we're not going to look here because that comes after the service equipment or it would, it would be like the transformer there so the service would be before that now we could be at services over current protection these are some things that could look interesting for us but here in services it's talking about the disconnection of it so I think our best bet again now this is grounded underneath conductors so it is the grounded conductor in an alternating current system so let's look at 250.24 and 250.26 and let's see what we can get out of those look at 250.24 now remember we had our choices of that and 250.26 so our best approach to this now is we're going to start scanning down looking at our bold headings as we go through here. So let's start doing that now in this section. So as we go down this section of the code and we're reading our bold headings, we come across this one at letter C, grounded conductor brought to service equipment. Now that was the first uh, wording in our question, so this looks like a good place now as we go through here we might want to start reading this now we'll have to go up to the next column to continue looking at this okay now remember our strategy when we're trying to find something if we don't have an exact reference we would look and we started to get some information so you read the first sentence or two and then you would continue reading the bold headings and here we have routing and sizing now our question was in regards uh, said that the uh, could not be smaller than 
what was specified in a certain table. And if we start looking here, we see table 250.66. And if we read this, it pretty much matches our question. And it fills in that 250.66 is one of our answer choices. So the correct answer is A. It would be table 250.66. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.